I have the pleasure of introducing our first keynote speaker, Julie A. Sue, California Labor Secretary with the California Labor and Workforce Development Agency. Thank you so much, Linda, and thank you for the opportunity to be with you today. It's actually really exciting to know that there are so many people joining who are new to the world of apprenticeship. We are living through what feels like ever-growing crises, the public health crisis, the pandemic-induced economic downturn, which has left millions of Californians unemployed, the racial reckoning brought on most directly by police brutality, but also exposed by the disparate impacts of COVID-19 and an economy that disproportionately fails people of color, and now wildfires and other impacts of climate change. We are called upon like never before to ask, what can I do to make things better? What do I have that can help us out of this? Fortunately, this gathering today will explore some answers to those questions. Today's convening will introduce concrete ideas to meet the workforce needs in the cybersecurity industry, specifically the need for skilled professionals. With your help and leadership, these ideas can become a reality for the good of the workforce, for your institutions, and our shared economy. I want to congratulate and thank Dr. Keith Clement of Cal State University Fresno for his vision in creating the first college degree in cybersecurity and to the many partners here today, too many to name, including my team at the state's Labor and Workforce Development Agency and the Division of Apprenticeship Standards for your extraordinary efforts. In the week leading up to Labor Day, what better reason to gather than to carve out real career pathways for Californians? As Labor Secretary, my agency is laser focused on building an economy with high road jobs and equity at the center. When I say high road jobs with equity at the center, I mean good paying jobs that provide financial security, allowing workers to keep a roof over their heads, provide for their families and to save with benefits such as healthcare and the ability to take time off when they need to and sometimes just when they want to where employees feel they are treated fairly and where they have a fair chance at advancement and raises, regardless of their skin, skin color, gender, or zip code, where they work alongside colleagues who share ideas to protect and enhance the well-being of a company they value because it values them. The data also shows why it's so urgent for us to invest in high road or quality jobs. Prior to the pandemic, about one third of Californians worked in jobs where they made less than $15 an hour. African American and Latino workers were overrepresented in these low wage jobs. We have seen these in the workforces that have borne the, borne the brunt of COVID. Pre pandemic, before the current economic crisis, meaning even in good times, a full 20% of California workers making less than $15 an hour had a college degree. The numbers show that educational attainment, especially for communities of color, does not guarantee a good job. And income is just one part of the issue. Wealth inequality is even worse. The median wealth of African American families with a college degree is lower than the median wealth of white families without college. We can and must do better by all Californians. As Labor Secretary, one of my top priorities is to support employers who are creating good jobs by helping you to fill those jobs with skilled talent. To do this, we aim to build bridges to those good jobs so you can benefit from the full talent of California's people. You likely know this data, but I wanna make sure we all have the same point of reference. There are 72,000 jobs in cybersecurity just in California alone. A career in your industry offers immense potential with an average salary in California of $111,000 a year, ranging from $40,000 to $300,000 in a single year. With the growth in telework, information security and protecting data are more important than ever. The critical nature of cybersecurity across many industries in ensuring that an organization can complete its mission and retain trust and confidence makes filling these jobs with skilled candidates so critical. Cybersecurity careers involve not just tech, but also creativity, communication, and organizational change management. There are amazing opportunities in this space, and the way we fill these critical high road jobs is to be intentional and inclusive. With the cybersecurity degree and apprenticeship, Californians who are interested in being leaders responsible for protecting information and information systems will now have an opportunity to connect what they learn in the classroom and on the job with a career. 
Today's convening provides information on education pathways and the bridge that apprenticeship offers, which connects learning with earning. So I just want to say a couple things about apprenticeship. Apprenticeship programs have long been used by the building trades and in other careers to connect promising individuals who have drive and a desire to career opportunities that they might not even have known existed. California has led the way in apprenticeship programs that have put workers on pathways to high road careers, given first generation college students the opportunity to pursue careers in construction, in healthcare, and so much more. Apprenticeships bring a competitive edge to California organizations and make people worldwide take notice. In my first year as labor secretary, I visited a pre-apprenticeship program and met a young woman who was a single mom who told me that she was now learning skills that would not only let her finally give her family financial security, but she could now help her young daughter with math and use the conflict resolution skills that she was learning in her everyday life. The income security was great, but it was her sense of pride and possibility that she would carry with her. Apprenticeships not only launch careers, they change lives. For employers, they ensure a skilled workforce, diverse talent to bring more problem-solving perspectives to the table, and employees whose classroom curriculum has been designed for the skills that you need. Too often, workforce training programs focus just on skills development but skills divorced from actual jobs is like coaching for the wrong game. Sure, it helps to be better conditioned overall, but you're not gonna get very far learning how to ice skate if no one is playing hockey. An effective workforce strategy worthy of California engages employers on understanding what you need and double downs on what we know to be true, that the creation of good jobs and training people for those jobs is good not just for workers, but for business too. In a nutshell, ensuring workers have what they need to secure good jobs and advance their careers, which allows us to also break down barriers of poverty, race, and exclusion, making employers more successful, diverse, and competitive, which means making you more adaptable and ultimately more secure, and bridging those two is the definition of how we build a California for all. So I end with a commitment and an ask. We will build a future of great jobs, of high road jobs, and a talent pool of people with the tools to thrive in those jobs if we are intentional about building partnerships between employers, educational institutions, and the community. If our educational investments and trading dollars support strategic, public-private partnerships. My ask to you, to those of you in this vibrant and growing cybersecurity industry, is to commit to take on apprentices help extend that pathway so we reach the end game of a California that is inclusive, innovative, with strong companies and strong people focused on long-term sustainable growth and where prosperity is shared by all Californians. I thank you for having me and I look forward to working with you as we pave the high road together.